Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Intersection. In this video, I will show you how to add dynamically images in different sections in our page using JavaScript. So what you see in there, you see that I have a structured section. Inside this section, there is a header and there's also a main within main there's an article and within the article there is an h2 element and also a div element but you don't see an image element because we will add these image dynamically using javascript so in in this article in the first article that i have an id uh, i added an id to it image article one i will be dynamically add the images or what, I'll start with one image inside the div, and then I'll also append another image. So let's see how I do it. So the first thing I did, I added a scripts folder. Within the folder, I have uh, a file for JavaScript, and also I added images in the image folder. So these are the images that I'm going to play with to show you how to do that. So let's open the JavaScript file. So here I created a function. And this function called display image in first article and as i have shown you in the class this is the call the function header and this is a cl classical function it's not expression expression function or an error function this is a classical uh, function and this is the body of the function and of course once you create a function you have to also call that function if you don't call the function is not it will not do anything so in, the, in this uh, inside the body of the function I'll add my statement the first thing the first thing I'm gonna do inside the function I will create a variable that variable will hold into it the the call by ID so it will hold into it this ID so I'm gonna create that statement inside the JavaScript so I'm gonna create a variable and I'm gonna use the keyword var to create that variable and I'm going to call that ID. So it's a var image container document that get element by ID, and I'm grabbing that ID. Now within this ID, which is the second step, I want to create, I want to create the image tag. So I'm going to add a, I'm going to create the image. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use the, uh, the method create element, create element. So that element that I'm going to create is the image, because I want that image to be here now in the old way we did it this way but that's a static we want to do these images at these image dynamically so we don't want to do it using the HTML the third step I want to create the path to these images that are in this folder so I'm gonna add uh, let's say image 2 because I know they're a little bit large I'm gonna add image 2 so that's the image path so the image inside the src if we remember that the source dot we're accessing we're accessing the method dot src so let's add the alt and the alt will be like a description of the image and that's now i have and now i have the image uh, path and i have an alternate for uh, scanners for people that are challenged now i'm going to append that image into the within the id into the into the page so i'm gonna uh, create that using the append child and of course before i test i need to go to the index file and add the add the link to the uh, script file so by adding a script tag and inside that script opening script tag we need to add the path to the file and the path to the file is within the scripts folder in the app and of course i added this um, css and um, of course i put the header and the footer on the top because they're not our concern but our concern are the article and the article h2 and the article dev which is that's what what, what we that's where, where where i have the image at so let's now test it and see what happens here is before and here's after so that's the image that's the first image can I add another image right beside it to the to the right of it? Yes, I can do that. So we're going to go back to our app.js 
and I'm going to repeat the same steps that I did before to append a new image to the container. If you look at these statements, are all the uh, all the all the same. So now let's test. And if we do this, here is the second image. The second way I'm going to show you is how to use arrays to add multiple to multiple images to your website instead of instead of bending them one by one. So let's use an array to do this. First, let's add another article here. So I added another article with the with the ID image article two, and the div is image images und, underscore underscore two. So the images the the element image will be created right here. So the first thing we do is gonna we're gonna state a function. We're gonna create a function. This function called display images, and this is the call to the function. So this is this is call to display images. And that's the call to the first function that we have there. So we have two different functions. And the now the first thing is we're gonna do is we're gonna create our array. Our array will be consisting of let's create six images. These first six here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And to create an array, we'll use var and then the, the name that we choose, images, and then we display inside the this array all the images that we are going to add to our pay, uh, our uh, our page our file the next thing is we are going to to call that article uh, uh, by its id by using the document get element by id and display that in a variable so we can use that that variable so the variable that i'm going to use is article I just want to name it article and then document get element by ID and images underscore two. Now, next thing we're going to go through process the array to process the array. We're going to use a looping statement, the looping statement that I'm going to use a for loop statement. So that's my for loop statement inside the for loop statement. I'm going to go through looping. So the first thing is I'm going to create every time I loop, I'm going to create the image element. So every time I loop, I will create the the image element. So in this case, I will loop one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll, so every time I loop, I'll add this image tag. And then the next thing, I'm going to set the 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 path, and I have to add an alternate. And then the next thing, I am going to append every image beside the other image or to the right of the other image. So I'm going to use the append child uh, uh, method. And that's that's it. That's what the whole thing. So let's now demo this. Here's all the images. Of course, I'm. This thing is in YouTube, so you can stop it. Uh, you can look at the code closely. You can review the code, and I will also put all of these file files into the desire to learn, so you can play with this at home. Thank you, and I'll see you in class. Bye-bye now.